On Wednesday, this road was completely closed off and we couldn't get any closer to Beachland Beach. Now the barrier has moved and we can now see what exactly happened in this area as the EF2 tornado passed right on through. And right behind me, the barrier is still there, showing that there are signs of progress in this cleanup effort. While the National Weather Service continues to survey the area, one thing stuck out to John Gordon. There's an amazing story on Beachland Avenue, just amazing, where this guy who saw the warning went in his basement, a giant oak crushed his house. I was sitting right next to that end table. That's what I was sitting at. Ten seconds later, I was three steps down in the basement, and that tree fell. Open up the, the basement window, tear it out in order to get me out of the, uh, the basement. And uh, I had no way to get out of there other than that. Kenneth Johnson says he himself is in a whirlwind of emotions. I'm pinching myself. I'm getting hugs from people I don't even know. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm feeling better. I hesitated doing it and decided, well, maybe you better go to the basement. And like I said, I got down three steps when that tree hit and all the ceilings started collapsing on me. We asked him if he's glad he took cover. As I pinch myself, hell yeah, I'm glad now. <laughs> Don't ignore those alerts. Uh, every now and then it won't hurt you to get up and walk down in the basement and cover your head. Because if you don't, it looks like them trees can come and sit in your lap. For some reason, I haven't figured out why the man kept me around here a little bit longer. But I got some things I need to start taking care of. And uh, I'm very, very fortunate that I was able to walk out of there. Coming out with just a scratch, Kenneth says he was just happy to see his family. They gave me a great big hug. Couldn't believe that they squeezed me real tight. And I, I was able to feel it, so I know I'm OK. <laughs> I know I'm OK. In Beachland Beach, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. <laughs> See, hugs really do matter. Well, with the recovery effort now picking up, authorities continue to put out the alert. It's best not to let anybody do the work at your house unless you have picked up the phone and called them personally or checked them out thoroughly. The scam artists are operating right now in the storm zones.